Uh, good morning, YouTube. It's uh, it's actually 9:45 on this Wednesday morning. Uh, I'm still on vacation, so you know, stay up late, get up late. Um, today I'm late to early for explanations. We are talking about the piezoelectric effect. Zink, 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 zink. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons, light, the magnetism, all particles, and momentum, of receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Uh, so piezoelectric, what is that? It's actually, uh, it's actually an effect that we've known for since 1880 so we've known it for a while and we've been using it um uh what is it it's it's the it's the phenomena or the effect that happens when you when you crush or squeeze a crystal or put a crystal under pressure it creates an electric charge in the material um and you know we've known about this since 1880 we've used it in a couple areas that i can't recall uh, quartz is the material that is most often used, but I guess there there's a number of materials that actually exhibit this. <coughs> and actually, it might be anything that anything that is not conductive. So, what is conductive? Metals are conductive. So, think of non-metals, uh, items, materials that don't conduct electricity. So, what's going on there? Um, I think what's going on is that when you have a crystal you have a structure of atoms that is rigid in a in a certain formation and when you crush the material you start like if it's not too hard and you and you put it under pressure you start moving atoms against each other and because atoms have charge and they have electric you know they have electrons that are doing stuff when you physically start moving atoms around you you start breaking electric bonds and creating other electric bonds as the atoms form other uh, other joints, other connections with other atoms. So you start making electric charge. Uh, I think that's what's going on there. So what is going on lately, there's a company that wants to take this idea uh, and they're thinking, well, a lot of people do a lot of walking and a lot of people in certain areas do a lot more walking than in other areas what if they can create this surface of this material where people are walking all the time and hook it up to electrodes and you know to a battery and whatnot so what they did is they took a field uh... they call it a football pitch which you know in everywhere other than America that means a soccer field uh, this is down in South America so they took this soccer field and they, they created this uh, they put a layer of I think they use quartz uh, they put a layer of this quartz down and then on top of it they put a layer of uh, basically just regular you know soccer turf that that we know about um, they hooked it up to an electrical system and they put solar panels around as well and so during the day the solar panels power the the lights um, but at night it's powered by anyone who's running around on this field uh, which is kinda, <laughs> that's kinda interesting um, and I guess you know it's, it generates its power and so it can light uh, the lights that are on the field what they want to do is they want to target high traffic areas like subways or walkways or I don't know where else you, you can imagine you know anywhere where there's a lot of people walking put this layer of quartz or the you know if there's a better material underneath it hook it up to uh, the electrical grid and you know you've got people power people power um, walking power basically um, Let's see, every step they say generates about 7 watts. Um, they're saying that 100 steps on this surface can power 
a light for an hour or something like that. So I, I know something crazy, but you know, so not too much. But if you if you target high traffic areas where there's a lot of people walking, there's a lot of pressure with every you know any square whatever has a lot of pressure going over it all the time. You can generate a lot of a lot of power. That I think I think I think it's a cool idea. Um, you know, why not harness? A lot of people do a lot of walking. Why not harness that energy? Uh, you can get into other ideas. You know, obviously, uh, the thing that I thought about is why not put that quartz in the bottom of people's shoes? You 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 have your personal. So every step is seven watts. You need to you need to do a lot of walking to power your personal items. Uh, that's why it's it's easier to do the reverse where you target an area where there's a lot of people going through. <laughs> oh, excuse me. As opposed to uh, you know targeting personal shoes because on an individual la level you you have to do a lot of walking to generate that kind of power. But. Okay, um, I'm still on vacation. I think I'm gonna go back to bed. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I better not get sick. Uh, you gotta go do whatever it is you do. Whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning techno battles. Thanks again.